Welcome back to KSL Outdoors. Well, we've moved from the Book Cliffs to here on the Lower Provo River, where a few years ago, anglers on the river noticed the water was really low in the summer, two to three CFS low, not enough to support fish here on the river. So they made some calls, got Trout Unlimited, the DWR involved, put their heads together, raised some money to save the water and the fish. So we're here on the Lower Provo, right out of the mouth of the canyon today, doing some electrofishing, population sampling. Right here, right here, coming down. With electricity, it's a, a non-lethal way for us to sample the fish population. It stuns these fish just for a, for a few seconds, allows all of our volunteers, anglers, guides to hurry and net them, and then put them in some water that's, that they'll be able to revive in. The fact that DWR is electrofishing the Provo River is not that uncommon. The reason they are doing so is. We've secured some water, kind of like an in-stream flow on this mile and a quarter stretch of stream, which in the late summer could go almost dry, very, very little water. And we've been able to pull a lot of partners together, um, Trout Unlimited, Water Conservancy District, uh, Mitigation Commission, Facebook, Coca-Cola, the Division of Wildlife. I mean, the list goes on and on. And we've pulled money together, about 800,000, well, actually about a million dollars, to be honest, to secure about 20 CFS of flow for the next 10 years on this stretch of stream. What that means is during late summer, when irrigation flows, power generation, many other uses on the water, gets pulled out just upstream from where we're at which would leave essentially no water. But buying this water or securing this water allows the fish, allows the frogs, other aquatic life to thrive, to continue. And we're here to get some baseline information. Now that we've secured some water with all these partners, what do we have? Do we have two fish? Do we have a thousand fish? Somewhere in between. The Utah Water Conservancy District, one of the partners who helped raise the million dollars came up with the solution. The idea is when the water in the late summer gets low, like it did in 2018 when the water was down to three cubic feet per second, that money would be used to purchase power from the power plant, thus leaving water in the river for the fish. So we're trying to keep about 20 CFS in this stretch of river. The million dollars will help keep a minimum flow for the next 10 years. TU, the DWR, and all the partners are working on an agreement to come up with a more permanent solution for the future. Anglers should be happy. People who use the trail and use other the river for other uses should be happy as well. According to data from the DWR, about 7,000 anglers fish the Lower Provo per mile every year. That angling produces about $300,000 per mile here on the Provo River. So while a million dollars sounds like a lot, it's a necessary expenditure for the fish and the anglers who enjoy this great resource. <laughs>